Hey, people, Angel here with Forever Honeymooning. And uh, my wife took over a lot of the driving duties when I got sick. And one of the things that I like using the backup camera that we have from Huron, but she likes using mirrors. So we struggled to try to get good mirrors that work with power and heat and all that stuff for the Toyota. And I love my Toyota Tundra, so I didn't want to screw with it. So what we're going to do is we actually ordered through Amazon some uh, tow mirrors that pop right on here. And I'll show you how those go on real easily. It's what you do Now the mirrors got here in two days from Amazon, which is nice. They come from a company called Cipro, I believe. I'll put the link down below. And there's not much to it. You get the IKEA style directions. You get two mirrors. And uh, you basically the wedge that you put in there. And it seems pretty easy to put in. We'll see how easy it is. And then we'll also kind of give you a review of how well they work. Shaking is the one thing I'm concerned about. And that's what I read about on a lot of towing mirrors is they shake a lot. We'll see how these perform. First thing you do is you take the wedge and you want to clean it, make sure that it's going to stick. So we just grab some alcohol wipes and we're going to wipe it down and let it dry. Once this dries, we want to take, this is basically like a soft fabric to keep it from scratching the the uh, mirror that came with the truck. So we're gonna apply that. So we're gonna pull this off and line it up and place it inside here. The next thing we do is we're gonna line this up. And I noticed it fits on pretty well. I tested it and it seems to fit pretty secure. So the next thing I'm gonna do then is, now in the picture it shows you putting this on first and then the wedge, but that's not gonna work. It's gonna hit the A-frame on the truck. So I'm gonna to have to kind of feed them together. And you wanna line it up because the pin is gonna go into here through the back here. So we gotta kind of line those up. You may have to play with it just a little bit. And then we're gonna place this inside. Okay. okay, once you got it in, I had to actually take it off and remount it because I realized that it wasn't lined up correctly. So this pin wasn't going into the hole in the wedge, but now it seems pretty secure. Not the most attractive thing to me, but I think it'll work. We'll just take them off when we get to places. Now, most important thing we're going to figure out is once we get on the road, how much does this vibrate? Is it even worth it? But we'll see. I'm going to put on the other side and then we're going to get on the road and we'll tell you how it performed. Seem like it's on there. So we're gonna find out how it works. And overall, this took me 10 minutes, 15 minutes to put on, including setting up the camera and doing all that. So they're really easy to put on. Let's see how they perform. Now the first test is gonna be right here at five miles an hour in the campground. And seeing very little to no vibration so far. So, so far so good. And she can see close to the rear of the trailer. All right, at 35 miles an hour with fairly bumpy road, little curves, it seems to be doing okay. 
All right, so it's been, what, about a year since we installed these things, and they work great. 30, 35,000 miles on them. We've gone through winds of 40, 45 miles an hour at least. Uh, two tropical storms. I mean, we just, we put them to the test, and they still work mm -hmm. great. We didn't really have much vibration on them. I know there were some concerns initially. We had seen some reviews that discussed a lot of vibration, but maybe they just didn't have them installed right. Or maybe it was a different type, different model of vehicle because we've taken them off-roading and they didn't really vibrate or move any more than the actual mirror itself. So oh, I would give it yeah. a two thumbs up for sure. Absolutely. I mean, we've done some serious off-roading in them. Never a problem. Uh, you know, and I talked about taking them off. Never did. Just left them on. We got kind of used to the look and I liked having that extra area. So I will admit, and I don't do this often, she was right. <laughs> They're good mirrors. Um, I would recommend you get them. And this way it doesn't require a major transition to your truck. We hope you enjoyed this video and we hope it helped you to make a decision to not only add mirrors, but understand how easy it really is to do it. Uh, if you like the video, of course, do us a favor, hit that like button below. And if you want to follow Forever Honeymooning, if you hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell for notifications, every time we post a new video, you'll be the first to know. So get out there, enjoy the adventure, and be safe on the road. <laughs> okay, once you have it securely in there, you realize you bought a piece of shit and it's not gonna work.